Okay, on the road with uh, my FSD enabled car, uh, Autopilot 2 system. This is a uh, firmware called um, uh, 2017.28.4 dot, dot and then C4 44833. So, um, doing the usual um, winding highway uh, system. Um, I decided to go a bit slower to see how that works out. If, uh, if you go 10k uh, lower than I usually do, it's not a big problem here and in, uh, on a straight, really. Uh, I haven't been too impressed with this firmware. It seems quite similar to the last one, the C52 one, so uh, that was uh, also okay. Um, the main finding is that on some, some roads it works really really good, on other roads it doesn't work very good at all. And uh, unfortunately this uh, stretch here is uh, one of those that is not better ones. Usually in these bends here uh, the car starts to decelerate and have these phantom decelerations, at least in 80, but uh, there we have had one. Uh, and the second one, you can see it uh, in the energy meter when it turns from orange to, to green. Um, we still have the same issues really. It's, drifts to the outside of the lanes. It's been a long time since uh, we have gotten uh, a firmware upgrade that added some new features. We're still waiting for the still waiting for the the um, auto wipers and the Auto uh, headlight uh, function, the, the high beam, auto high beams. So, as you also can see in the display, okay, here we are on the white line almost. The car understands that it is in the wrong position, but it doesn't really do anything about it. So, maybe they should uh, be a bit more bold and let the car turn a bit more uh, in, in the bends, keep a tighter radius. Okay, here's my turnaround point, so let's just <laughs> I thought I was going to follow that car and, and see, uh, show you that it brakes for cars it hasn't identified yet so that's a feature I think works quite nice but um, it depends on the road it really is dependent on the uh, lane markers another finding is that it's um, it is uh, very sensitive about poor rain markers way uh, lane markers I'm sorry so uh, there, in the, the previous firmware, especially those that was available around March, April, it would see lane markers also. Well, did I run the red line? I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm on the highway again. Let's see how it goes. The car uh, gives some time to pick up on um, on the lane markers, and uh, it's very sensitive to the quality of the lanes. So that's one of the strange issues I've noticed now, which was uh, not there before. 
changed with the 28 firmware, 26, 7, 96, and all sorts. Um, especially when you have uh, opposing sunlight, in, uh, for example, in the morning or the evenings, it will have some challenges on that regard. But now we're going way lower uh, speed than we used to, and um, works. This is also the findings from uh, other highways which have uh, not these tight kind of bends and they were breaking. So um, if you go in a moderate speed, maybe below oops, below speed limit, it's uh, definitely working better than if you're trying to push it and, and stay a few kilometers above but uh, still have a long way to go I would say uh, uh, in mixed conditions it's uh, it really has some issues with the stuff in it as you can see here it doesn't really pick up the, the car in front let's try something else I'm going to show you something funny uh, there is some sort of collision avoidance system that takes over the steering of the car uh, even when it's in manual mode and uh, I found a place here where they are doing some uh, road improvement and we can try that uh, it's a bit scary but uh, maybe it's smart but I didn't know we have it let's see we're going quite straight into this wall and, and okay it's Okay, I didn't dare <laughs> to, to hit the wall, but uh, it started to beep. Uh, but uh, sometimes it will steer the car out of that danger. And um, the first time that happens, it's uh, quite a surprise. I didn't know it was uh, capable of doing that. So, um, and I did not feel there was any kind of danger at all, so I'm not sure if um, one was supposed to expect that. Thank you. 